overwhelmed with perfume. Behind me is my macadamia nut tree. It's late March in Fremont, California. The tree is coming into full bloom. The aroma in the air is incredible. Uh, it's a thick carpet of pink jasmine type smell wafting everywhere back here. These are really strong. The trees get quite large. They bloom twice a year. Twice a year it smells like a like a carpet of pink fuzzy jasmine all over the back half of my landscape. Um, the main reason I put the tree in was to get the delicious nuts. Uh, it had a secondary reason which was blocking the lights from the post office and the noise from the post office behind me here. It also keeps the west wind out of the property a little bit when it comes in off the ocean. And so it's got a lot of reasons why it grows here. Plus, it's extremely drought tolerant and does not require a lot of maintenance on my part to keep the tree growing. This is a tough tree, really. Honest, I really like the macadamia. But if you like perfume, this is your plant. Now, I know that you can't smell this over the internet. And this tree is actually only beginning to open these flowers up. But just by taking a look here, now imagine each one of those little specks on these stringers here, that's a blossom. And each one of these blossoms, oh my goodness, the perfume it gives off is incredible. You can just imagine how many of these there are because, I mean, this plant, I'm standing under it. And when it goes all the way up to there, huh? And so the, the perfume is huge. It's just unbelievable how much smell this tree makes. Sad part of everything is that there was a point in the past where my neighbor was raising bees uh, just a couple of blocks over, but then his neighbor complained about the dangerous bees in his yard. The city fined him. Uh, he made them take them out uh, because there's a lot of ignorance and stupidity about the bees uh, in our culture. And then the neonicotinoids, uh, the imidacloprid, uh, it's killing off most of the wild bee populations. My tree used to be completely filled with pollinators when it opened like this. Now they're pretty scarce. There's hardly anything up there. It's, it's a pretty sad thing. Yet we still continue to use these toxic insecticides. They kill off anything that's cold-blooded. Uh, it's not just the bees. It's also when they get into the watershed, they go to the bottom of the food chain. They kill off the zooplankton and all the little water fleas and stuff that support all higher life. So basically, these chemicals are now undermining the absolute bottom of the food chain on the planet. Yet we're still spraying them. And because of that, there aren't any bees hardly in this tree, even though it just smells so beautiful. Such a sad thing. I see one little bee up there. It's... If you love perfume and you live in a mild region of the United States or any other part of the world where the weather is reasonably uh, mild in the wintertime, you might want to consider putting a macadamia nut tree in your yard. They smell great.